What's up my Essential Unit? It's Essential Man here, so this could be my review of this week's AEW's Dynamite. This week's show was in Boston, Massachusetts. So the commentators for this week's show were good old J.R. Jim Ross, Excalibur, and Tony Schiavone. So the first match to kick off this week's Dynamite is a tag team match. This is a first round match for the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament. We've got the Young Bucks, that is Mick and uh, Matt Jackson versus the Private Party, that is Aisha Cassidy and I'm going to butcher his like, dude's name, Marie Kiwan. And the funny part with the, uh, the announcer, Justin Roberts, they said, he said like they're weighing 24 ounces of vodka cranberry. You know, I find it funny. This match, the opening match, is basically match of the night for me. Back and forth between both tag teams. You know, like in one moment, you had like, um, like during the match, you had like, I think it was Isaac Cassidy or Marie Kwan. He did like a suicide dive onto Nick Jackson and did like some pattern and dive on Matt Jackson. You know, that was good. Um, the They kind of like, like, did, uh, I think the Young Bucks did some sharpshooters. I think it was... Nick or Matt, I'm not too sure, like, they kind of locked the sharpshooter, I think it's on Aisha Cassidy, or, it's one, one member of the private party, but they kind of reached the ropes, um, yeah, there are a lot of titan maneuvers in this match, like, like, with the Young Bucks, they did the, a power bomb, turn into a sliced bread, that was good, um, you know, like, they did, like, I think it was, I think Matt Jackson did a double stump onto, I think it was on Aisha Cassidy or Kwan. Not too sure about that. So, yeah, it was a back and forth. And, like, in early hours of the match, you had, like, I think it was Nick or Matt. They kind of did a running power bomb and kind of put, I think it was Aisha Cassidy through onto the, um, the entrance ramp. That was good. You know, any end you had to like, I think it was Aisha Cassidy or Quan perform. Like, I think it was a bit of a like a roll up onto one one of the members of the Young Bucks to score the win. That was an upset victory. I was ruined for the Young Bucks to become the first ever AEW World Tag Team Champions. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And you know, the fa the fans were into this match. You know, I really got behind Private Party. You know, they could be win. I I could see them winning it. Who knows, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting my money on Sol Khan Sensa, you know, Daniels, Kazarian, or Scorpio Sky. Anyway, so, yeah, match of the night in this, this, in this week's Dynamite. The only segment we got Jericho's new faction. You know, you got Chris Jericho, the AEW world champion. Sammy Guevara, Ortiz, and Santana, the former... The former members of LAX and Jake Hager. And Jericho named his new group as the Inner Circle. And Jericho really put over the his new members pretty damn well. He's called um, Sammy Guevara a Spanish God. They he basically called um, Ortiz and Santana. What's it called? Street Fires, uh, Pitbulls, brute, Brutes. I can't remember, but... They, he kind of put both Ortiz and Santana pretty damn well. And even he's put over Jack, Jake Hager. You know, like, you know, he kind of brought up his MMA record. Like, he can take on a, a boxer, MMA fighter, bare-knuckle fighter, wrestler. You know, and also the fans were chanting, we're the people. You know, a bit of reference of Jack, uh, really Jack Swagger's days in WWE when, you know, he was member of the Real Americans with him and Cesaro and Seb Coulter and Jericho and kind of like shoot down the fans a bit like you know with the poop yeah yeah with the people is dead it was a stupid idea for bad creative and also he was mentioned about Cody challenging Chris Jericho for a match for the AEW championship at full gear and he said I don't like you I don't like your family I will beat the living shit out of you. And basically, they never bleep out the word shit. I really like it. And said, 
we're going to celebrate in, <laughs> in Baltimore with a bit of bubbly and said, we are the circle, inner circle, you're welcome. So that was a really good segment for Jericho and his new group. And then the second match of the night, we got uh, Darby Allen versus Jimmy Havoc, winner face Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship at uh, next week's Dynamite. So, yeah, this match was, yeah, a decent match. Yeah, really, uh, Havoc kind of worked on the, um, the hand. It was not really the arm, but the fingers and the hand of Darby Allen. Both Allen and Havoc's gimmicks are a little bit similar. They're both a little bit gothic. Man, they need to form a tag team between Allen and Havoc. I think they could work as a tag team. But anyway, any, anyway uh, Darby Allen hit the... Um, he called his finisher the was it the barrel drop on Havoc to score the victory, and Darby Allen would face Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship at next week's Dynamite. It's not the last time we see Darby Allen on this show. So yeah, match number three, we got a women's tag team match. We got Brie Prisley and um, Emmy Sakura versus Doctor Britt Baker DMD and the new Crownley. AEW Women's Champion Riho. This match was okay. It was good. You had some moments. Yeah, like you had uh, Prisley and um, Sakura kind of did a double suplex onto Baker onto the floor. You know, it was really okay. You had some moments like you had uh, after the they did the double suplex. You had Riho did the um, I think it was a a split. He did a move on the top rope on both. Yeah, on both um, Prisley and Sakura. Um, and yeah, at the end, you had like Baker kind of like locked in a Rinza Saturn onto MS Sakura. And while and you had like um, Riho kind of pulling uh, Prisley, denying Prisley to break up the submission hold. And MS Sakura tapped out. And both the both Baby Faces won this match. You know, Britt Baker and. Uh, Bri, uh, not Brie Prisley, uh, Rayho, the AEW Women's Champion, and he had Prisley kind of like, kind of push up, kind of push uh, Britt Baker, and they kind of like a bit of a scuffle. I'm guessing that could lead up to next week's show. You know, it could be like Brit, uh, pre, uh, B Prisley versus Doctor Britt Baker. Not too sure. Who knows? But anyway, uh, that's match number three. Match number four, we got Sean Spears versus John Moxley. Pack is on comedy. He got pissed off because Darby Allen and uh, and Jimmy Havoc got opportunity for the world title. And yeah, Pack is not really. He got pissed off because he's not getting a shot of the world championship. Not really getting opportunity of the world title. So he was on commentary. Yeah, he had uh, Tolly Blanchard on Sean Spears' side. And like what the early hours of this match, he had like basically uh, Moxley kind of butt head into uh, Spears. The match was a bit stiff. It was okay. You had um, one move of the match. You had basically Tolly Blanchard kind of push John Moxley into the the still steps. Um, you know, I, you know, I thought he, you know, like I like I like this um combination between Spears and Blanchard. You know, um, anyway, you had uh, Moxley got the win. I think he hit. He got his uh, finisher called the was it the Pinamite Shift. It was basically like Edge's executional DDT. You know he's not doing the dirty deeds anymore. That's basically his finisher from WWE. So yeah, uh, you know John Moxley got the win. It's a damn shame for Sean Spears. You know like he got some buzz ever since he hit uh, clock uh, Cody Rhodes in the head with the chair at uh, was it at Fighter Fest. You know he's losing. You know, he lost to Cody at, uh, I think it was at All Out. And now he's lost to Moxley on this week's show. You know, is he, he going to get a winning streak? Not too sure. We have to wait and find out. Like, afterwards, you had uh, Kenny Omega showing up. You know, look for revenge after Moxley kind of DDT'd uh, Omega onto the coffee table at last week's main event. He kind of grabbed some broomsticks covered with barbed wire. I thought it was a bit going to be a brawl between Moxley and Omega. Instead, Pat came out of nowhere. He came out of the announce table and hit uh, Omega with the chair and run off. 
So I'm guessing it's going to be Pac versus Kenny Omega for next week's Dynamite. You know, basically their rematch from All Out. And then we got the main event. The main event, we got a tag team match. Uh, really, it's so overkill of this week's Dynamite. We got three tag team matches in one show. Young Bucks Private Party, uh, the women's tag team match, and, that, and then the main event is another tag team match. Yeah, we've got um, Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes versus two members, really members of the inner circle. That is the AEW World Champion Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara with Jake Hager as a manager in their corner. Not really, uh, it was an okay match, like, you had Hager kind of interfered in, in this match, he, like, he kind of gave um, Hangman Page the clothesline, and then when uh, Guevara kind of hold on the referee, Hager uh, kind of get into the ring and hit uh, Dustin Rhodes with the um, clothesline. In the end, uh, Jericho hit uh, Dustin Rhodes with the Judas Effect to win this match. And then, yeah, the inner circle beat down Dustin Rhodes, and then the lights uh, was off, and then it come back on. He had Cody Rhodes trying to e equal, uh, really equal the odds, but they got beat down by Santina, uh, Santana and Ortiz. They showed up. And then, you know, and then we got MGF. I thought he's going to be on, be the new member of the inner circle, but instead he basically hit the chairs on both on Ortiz and Santana. Jericho hit uh, MGF with the cold breaker, and then you got the Young Bucks came into the rescue, equal in the yards, and then Darby Allen came, beat Jericho, and then Jericho uh, on the mic he says like, "We see, yeah, he says, see you in full gear, uh, November 9th, See you next week." Next week will be your funeral to uh, Darby Allen. So, anyway, uh, this week's Dynamite. Yeah, it's not the same as last week's show, but it's still a good show. Yeah, the the one flaw is basically tag team overkill. Match of the night, Young Bucks versus Private Party.